Right then, I just swapped over cameras. The other one's battery's gone. I'm not going to bother trying to charge it at the moment. I'll use this camera. I'm, next time I stop, I, what I might do is put the leads on the other one anyway. So here we are, here we've got some, um, down there we've got the Coombs that I talk about a lot, Holford Coombe, well not Holford Coombe, that is um, Hodder's Coombe, Slaughterhouse Coombe, Shepherd's Coombe, Lady's Edge along the top there, and further over there we've got Beacon Hill. Um, down there where those people are walking, that's um, Higher Hair Nap going up the top there. There's um, Wood Hill there, which is also the Dalborough Hill Fort. Um, heading back that way, you can get to um, Crocombe, you can get to uh, Lydiard, you can get to West Bagborough, you can get to Dead Woman's Ditch and Great Wood, Nether Stowey. Lower Hair Nap is that lower track down there that I haven't done for a long time. Um, and that can take you back down into the coom. I, I, in fact, I haven't done it for ages. It's some, something I'll probably try and do um, on another visit. Today, my mission... Um, today, what I might do is um, Lady's Edge over that way, going back near Old Foxton Park. Um, now further up, this is still high up here, there is an actual, um, a higher track, which takes you to, which you can see all the views over that side, that's a Macmillan track over the other side of that hill, but today I'm just taking things quite steady, the people I met earlier now, I've let them get quite a f distance away, because they're out on a quiet, peaceful walk. Here, if you follow this track here, it takes you to, if you want to pursue higher nap, you can, or you can head on to the lower nap down there. But I do notice another herd of cows. There's Hinkley Point over there as well, look. There's a, I've no, this is a new thing, I think, with the cows, because they've got to let them out to feed. Because, um... You know, their fields are parched, and they've, their stores for the winter have almost depleted. They've had to feed the cows their winter stores. Now, right in the distance, of course, right in the very far distance, we've got the Exmoor. And there's a hill a long way off there. It's called Dunkery Beacon. See it? They're right in the mist there. That is my mission in the next couple of weeks. To climb that and visit a couple of churches around that area. I'm really waiting for next week. When all the holiday makers would have gone. I am. It's a possibility I might camp out. You know, there's a campsite in Winehead. The camping and caravan club one. There's a possibility I might decide to stay over so I can do some exploring of Porlock and all that. Uh, <clears throat> I've got to make use of Alberta while she's um, still working sort of thing, although she has got a few problems with her brakes actually at the moment. <laughs> um, there's that lovely comb down there. I mean, I've... I'm doing it from different angles, so even though people might think, oh, you were up there the other week, you've seen all that. It's true, it's true, yes, you have, but I'm, I'm doing it from different perspectives each time. I'm coming in from this direction this time. Um, I'm coming in from this direction. Bicknella Post will be further up and then that takes you down into the Coombs, you see, once you get to Bicknella. Um, this one here leads down to Slaughterhouse Coombe, which is the Coombe I, we used to go in a lot when I was a child. It's Slaughterhouse Coombe. This one here 
is Slaughterhouse Coombe. The one over is Shepherd's Coombe leading to Hodder's Coombe. They both lead to Hodder's Coombe, which is the one further in the distance there. I sometimes emerge from this coombe here. Um, if I go up Slaughterhouse Coombe from Holford. I thought I felt a spot of rain then. Yeah, there's some. Um, yeah, like I said, they're letting the cows out because um, they've got to eat something. It's quite a big herd as well. I don't know if they frighten the deer though. I haven't seen any deer. It just seems so weird. Where are the deer? You know, where are the deer? Where have they gone? Apparently they, they might have all gone over to Exmoor. They, you know, maybe they're leaving. They feel the contacts aren't safe. I mean, there's more people out on bikes and all sorts of things disturbing their peace. They might not feel safe here anymore. In the summer. So unusual not to see any. Over and out. <laughs>